Welcome to the Umar Dilemma, where I'm back with some facts that I've been able to find um, about Mohammed Begum, just as I'd promised in the main video, that should you have any questions or queries, do get in touch and I'll try and provide more facts. Now, some comments seem to question Hazrat Mirza Sahib's claim that this line of his family, i.e. Imam Deen and his household, had turned away from and actually against Islam. So I saw it as a valid query and went on a hunt for any evidence that I could find and I didn't rest until I did. Now this material that I found might only just make this whole issue a bit more difficult or challenging if you like for non amdi Muslims because what I found is that Imam Deen was actually running a strange cult of his own, a cult of Lal Begis. And who are these Lal Begis? An offshoot of Hinduism that the sanitary labor, or churas as they are called, of India believed in. They venerated a legendary character Lal Beg, but the faith actually was called Balmiki or Valmiki. This cousin of Hazrat Mirza Sahib, Imam Deen, had been chosen by the Lal Begis as their leader. Maulai Hedayat, or the Lord of Guidance, as they titled him. Uh, this religion was a strange hodgepodge of Islam, Hinduism, and Sikhism, where bits and bobs from all three faiths were practiced, but in their worst distorted form. So, what I found is this book, Dide Haq, which means Sighting of God, written by Imam Deen, and is meant to be a complete compendium of Lal Begi faith, where the Muslims are mocked, the Muslim mode of worship is rejected, and Imam Deen calls all Lal Begis to strive for this faith to prevail. Also what I found is proof that he had joined hands with Lekram, the most notorious enemy of Islam of his days. Now despite knowing that Lekram used extremely hate inciting language for the Holy Prophet, he has this tract published, inviting people of all faiths, including Rekram, to challenge Hazrat Mirza Sahib, the Mirza Sahib, who was challenging other faiths on behalf of Islam. And that again is a fact acknowledged by many. And uh, Lekram, this venomous enemy of Islam, published Imam Deen's tract in his book, Takzeeb Barahin e Ahmadiyya, which uh, later got reprinted in his complete works titled Kuliyate Arya Musafir. And another book that I've uh, been able to find, written by Imam Deen, is titled Gule Shaguft, meaning a blossoming flower, and is all about making Lal Begi faith prevail over other religions, including Islam, which he sees as a fake religion. Now this is how Islam was being attacked by these first cousins of Hazrat Mirza Sahib. He warned them time and again and then informed them about the prophetic warning. I leave you to decide. I've given you the facts that I've been able to dig out from archives and records. Still looking and will be back if I find more. If you haven't watched the actual video, I'll post it in a reply below. Uh, watch it and follow the Umar Dilemma. And until next time, thank you very much for watching.